I've been listening to and smelling that for the last 98 minutes. Best part of a stakeout, other than when it ends, is when you're eating. A single red ant could have eaten it faster. Dragged Across Concrete is very much like the director's previous works, in the sense that this film doesn't pull any punches and wears its cheesy pulp on its sleeve as a badge of honor. The film stars Mel Gibson as a cop fighting to get dirty money that he so desperately wants. It's very rare that a film makes us follow characters that are so beyond redemption. The film doesn't endorse any of the characters' thoughts or actions merely makes us accompany them on their quest. The fact that anyone thinks this is a political film is hilarious. Just because a film depicts something doesn't mean it endorses it. The film is much more slow paced than advertised. It's a very slow burner that's for the most part engaging. The first hour of the film is dedicated to giving everyone their motivation for doing what they're doing, which to be honest isn't that captivating all the time. The two best aspects of the film is a great performance by Mel Gibson and some really brutal violence. The technical aspects of the film are nothing special, and while some shots may be a little bit too dark for my taste, I don't think they impede the viewing experience. Vince Vaughn is overshadowed by Mel Gibson in most scenes, however he still exudes some charm and wit due to some really great dialogue. Whenever those two are together, the film tends to crank up the edgy meter to 11, which is for the most part hilarious. Again, what lies between those moments of pulpy dialogue and violence is pretty hit and miss. However, the payoff is amazing and well worth the wait. The last section is really a fucking barn burner. It has one of the most satisfying standoffs I've ever seen. Everything about the film is excessive. The runtime, the violence, and the preaching of the characters' values are all excessive. And to be honest, that's part of the charm of the film. The film's edginess dares you to hate it in a punk rock sort of way. The film is as if the director mixed Sid and Nancy with Baloo Tenet and sprinkled some true detective on it. And if that description sounds good to you, I highly recommend you check out this film. But if you're not into slow, campy thrillers, I'd probably set this one out.